Hello. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, both boys. So uh, this is a tiny resupply video. This is actually a smally but a goodie. <laughs> yeah, it's a resupply of supplies. Yes. So uh, we've been running a little low on paints. Mm -hmm. So and thank goodness they've just arrived back in stock. Yeah. So we yeah. got a whole range of Mr. Hobby, Mr. Color stuff mm. that has come back yeah. in stock, and we got some new items. Yes, there, yeah. So that I want to talk about. So like last week we had our probably like our most epic unboxing for you know <laughs> the, the builders. All the perfect. Yeah, yeah. But like the painters are going like, oh, you know, I don't care about kits anymore. I've got lots of kits already that I need, I need to paint, paint, but I need more supplies and stuff. So need look them at that. Random colors. Okay, so. Okay, before we get into it, so all the stuff outside the box that's just like resupplies. Yeah. yeah. And then Tomotu's de defending or guarding the new stuff. The new stuff. Yes. Okay, so, so what gonna, do we have? Okay, so I'm going to get into these. Um, so okay. Mr. Color's got a line of paint called Mr. The Color GX. GX yeah. Which, I, from what I understand, is they're slowly moving all of their paint to this, it looks like. But for now, um, the whole purpose of Mr. GX mm -hmm. is that it's a slightly tougher lacquer mm -hmm. so it's more designed for like articulated kits like gundam and all that kind of mm. thing um so we're dying to try them out i've i've obviously used the clear ones mm. um the pinks and the purples which are really really good and also really tough and they spray well as well and also another note is that the gxy in terms of these colors is that they're bigger bottles so mm. instead of the 10 mil it's 18. Yeah. so it's like almost double and then the price is not doubled so it's yeah, yeah so good. that's also a nice bonus yeah. you get mm. more paint for less mm. so yeah so we got white yeah. or cool white which is mostly a good kind yeah, so, of so color apparently it's like better coverage more durability and like more denser pigments or something yeah, yeah? i've also noticed mm. like from the more vibrant stuff, as well uh from the clear paint i can actually get a lot more paint out of it mm. from thinning it this so is, we also got the red. So each of the colors have like a name. So like the, the, red. the, the, the white is like a cool white that they call it, like Har Harman. <laughs> yeah, and this yeah. is like Harman Red or Herman do, Red. Do you know what the name's about? Like, I actually I like, don't know. I do want to There's look one like that. that's called like Susie Blue or something. Stuff oh, like that could that. just so be like, Mr. Color like labeling, you know, okay. giving their, uh, like, should I say copywriting their colors. Okay. Um, but from what I can tell, this looks like Gundam Red. Mm. You know, so it's that more red on the red side than on the yeah, blue side of the red Don't spectrum. judge the bottom because obviously hasn't Unmixed, been mixed, like, hasn't been yeah, shaken. Hasn't and then there's the uh, what they call they Chiara it? yellow, but it's also very it's much like focusing. character yellow. Yeah. So they have a color in the Gundam line, in the Gundam color line called character yellow. Mm -hmm. I think they have it in the normal one as well. So I think this is just basically character yellow. Okay. Um, GX4. In fact, on the Evangelion Otpla that I'm building, some of these colors. The GX numbers are actually in there already. Hmm. So um, then we've got everybody needs this Gundam blue, and this is beautiful based on the cap color. Hmm. So and this is yeah, this is your Susie, Susie blue. Blue, <laughs> blue Susie. <laughs> so there's that, and then we've got very non Zaku Zaku green. Yeah, it's a very vibrant, it's a very vibrant green. Yeah. It's a what do they call it? Uh, Mori green. Mori. That's a horrible name. <laughs> But yeah, these are all meant to be considered um, primary colors. Mm, so it's like ideal for like mixing your own colors. Yeah. yeah, so this is like your baseline. So if you ever need like what is considered a pure red, pure blue, pure mm. yellow, mm -hmm. then this is your, your go-to uh, before we get into the more technical color mixing sets. Okay, sweet. Now, yeah, what um, are those? Yeah, what are these? Okay, so we've had missed... So we got these back in. Mm. I think these are a bit bigger. Is it so, just me? Or? Yes. No, no, they're the same size. But yeah, up to now we've had them in bottles. So and it's more designed for like airbrushes or hand painters or whatever. But yeah. now, you know, for beginner painters, you don't you don't have all those tools. So or you've if got you the really just hate mixing uh, primer, yeah. yeah. Then we have this. <laughs> so remember, guys, you swirl these. Hey, yeah. don't shake them. <laughs> and the, oh, so just a reminder, they're still the same for like. Um, type of paint so it's still lacquer based so ideally you know either spread out yeah whether you spray it outside or whatever just wear a respirator or a mask just to prevent and if you, you are going to spray this inhaling, indoors yeah. and have a spray booth please have a spray booth because yes. it's one thing to not be able to breathe in the stuff because you're mm. wearing a mask mm. but spray paint does have something called overspray mm. and that dust goes into the air and it mm. settles on everything so mm. good times yes but um this is just safety stuff so you know how to use it properly another top coat um that we have now is like 
Previously, do you want to just show off the green ones? The green ones that we carried before, the premium ones, these are water-based actually. Yeah. So these guys are lacquer-based. Mm -hmm. mm. And this is like a UV cut, so it prevents like yellowing from the sun or yeah. what's a fluorescent light as well? Yes. Or um, yeah. yellow your, 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 your yeah. um, well, paint jobs? Most light will damage your stuff over mm. time, but your fluorescent yeah. light will do it quicker. Yeah. And so, yeah, so we got that in. Mm. Also, again, this is also a very, very good product. Yeah. I've used the, the bottles and mm. I've cut the bottles and they it sprays well and it covers well. Yeah. And also, so, again, like no judgment. This is not a case of like, oh, you get this if you haven't got an airbrush. It's mm. more like maybe you just don't like airbrushing clear coats. Mm. I know I freak out every time. Yeah. So having the cans yeah. is really nice. Yeah. And cool. currently we just got the gloss in. But yeah, hopefully in future we can get the, the flat and the semi gloss. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And then cool. And then something I'm super, super excited about because yes. I always get super Ooh. excited about this. <laughs> So we got like a whole bunch of these. Scribers. This is Scribers. What, they, what they call it, uh, uh, what do they call it? Mr. Line uh, Scriber. Uh, something. something chisel, yeah. yeah a line chisel. A line yeah. chisel. Yeah. Okay. Just different terminologies doing the same, pretty much the same So things. these are, yeah. I mean, I know that we all like, we got tons of Yeah, we, now, we bought in the have, Madworks ones, but, but this is options. quite different. Yes. Yeah. So like these are hook based. Yes. Scribers. Yeah. That's the biggest so thing. So maybe you prefer that. Mm. But can, can you maybe show? Uh, it's very let's see it's, if it's can so tiny just turn it on the side yeah let's see if you can pick it Get up through the glare there uh, yeah there you go so as you can see it's got a hook shape rather compared to madworks ones are like a uh, chisel shapes and neither is yeah. better than the other it's mm. just a matter of like what works best for you yes yeah um, but the biggest difference is the the holding angle is different yeah yeah mm. so you I generally find with this kind of scriber for me personally, the hook you type, kind of yeah. use it like this mm. more than like that. Mm. Um, and, and your um, grip has to change as well? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And you also have to keep it sort of at an angle like 45-ish, 60-ish. Mm. Mm. You can't like sit there and then go like that. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, going to yeah. work. So you do have to pull the line. Yes. Yeah. Um, and some guys really do prefer these. I actually enjoy these as well. Mm. Um, and, you know, in South Africa, we've always commonly had the Tamiya. Mm. Ones. and the thing is Tamiya ones are fine but they're not great for the scale because yeah. you basically only get one and also the Tamiya ones are like the blade is actual v-shape so the, the deeper you cut it, it creates inconsistency in your line width whereas these are still like they're flat they're flat yeah, yeah so um, and then so, we also got different yeah. sizes so I think before well. we move into the, the blade hand um, uh, blades uh, just a reminder when you pick up the handle it does include the three mil, uh, point three mil. Yep. Uh, it's not focusing on the camera there. There you go. Um, blade <laughs> already. And yeah, um, to remove the blades, you pretty much just pull them out. Um, if you feel it's a bit stiff by hand, grab like a um, what do you call these things? Pliers. Again? Pliers. Yeah. <laughs> um, I actually tested it out. I didn't want to like damage the blades. So I just put masking tape around it. And you can just pull it out. Yeah. Cool. And we got lots of good sizes for this. Yeah. So we got the, so we've the got one like, mil, we got a uh, point, oh, yeah. one mil, 0. 0.7 mm -hmm. and a 0. 0.15. Yeah. So, and then obviously the 0.3 that comes with the blade. Yeah. So that's pretty much everything you need for mm -hmm. like Gundam building, yeah. aircraft. So, so if you want to create notches with the thick ones, you've got the zero uh, with the 1.0 or the 0. 0.7. Yeah. 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 And these guys are great. So yeah. And then the last little one. Yeah. Okay. So the last little thing is we don't have stock of, we yeah, actually so want to, yeah, something we want to test. Just saying goodbye to our fellow <laughs> shop shop people, our the, yeah, the brilliant uh, human the, beings the, who pack the, all of your the handless, the, 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 the handless. No, yeah. they're more than that. Okay, <laughs> yeah. so the handless sounds cool, man. It does sound cool. Yeah, isn't that an AC? The 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 armor core, the, the the handler. Oh yeah, that is right. <laughs> your master is a handler. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, anyway, what's so this I'm thing about? I'm excited about this because, so our suppliers actually asked us to test this mm. because this is something we do want to test. What now, is it? It's a Gundam Mocker airbrush. It's a Gundam Mocker airbrush. airbrush okay. Yeah. Do you want to take it out the box? I'm, I do want to take it out. Yeah. I just wanted to show the packaging yeah. first. Just mm. very excited. Mm. Um, so, okay. So we're going to be testing this because here's the thing. One part of me feels like it's a gimmick. Another hmm. part of me feels like it could actually be really useful. Can be a bridge as well. You know, like yeah. somebody who's getting into painting, picked up quite a few Gundam markers and don't want to invest in quite a bit in the whole airbrush setup. Like what I find really interesting about this is that you don't need to do cleaning. Your, you don't need to clean the airbrush. Yeah, which is nice. It, you just like plug in your, your marker and yeah. you just spray. So it's like very plug and go kind of thing, you know? Okay. Yeah, exactly. So hmm. that's kind of a cool thing. So 
Uh, like I was saying, I've always found stuff like this to just be a little bit gimmicky. Like mm. uh, Copic also does like something similar to this for mm -hmm. the Copic markers. Um, and I've always just felt, mm, you know, but then at the same time, I've also, uh, and I've had my perception changed on this. Mm. I've always found the Gundam markers to be a bit gimmicky personally. Mm. Like I've, I've always typically used the Gundam marker as I've decanted some of the paint into my airbrush and sprayed mm. it as opposed to using it. Out the but now some of you guys have actually shown me that, no, actually these things are really functional. Mm. Um, and I, you know who I'm talking to. <laughs> uh, all of you guys who have been buying the markers. I mean, there's a reason we sell out of them. So yeah, we wanted to try this out and just see if it actually has, you know, any use. Is it a gimmicky mm. thing? Is it a functional thing? Can somebody like myself who doesn't believe in it, Hmm. find some kind of and also i think it's more accessible to getting into airbrushing now so like yeah. you know you guys have maybe seen on take a lot or online you know you get like those little... portable um compressors yeah so you can just like screw them on at the back because like those compressors come with the airbrush but you know, they're kind of uh, generic yeah. so you could use something like this and attach it to the top um and yeah just spray away the markers as well and as jeff said there's no cleanup required mm. the markers well okay we're going to find out how, mm. how so yeah, we're going to test it out but yeah so we're going to test this out we're going to get some footage we're going to like play yeah. around with it a little bit and then and then and yeah if we if, think it's good if there's interest from you guys let us know then yeah we can supply you guys yeah because jeff yeah, and i don't really want to sell something that we wouldn't use ourselves mm. so we're going to test it out and obviously yeah. we're aware of the fact that you know something like i mean i don't want people using air cans because that's a waste mm. of money so yeah personally but yeah i'm very excited to try this out yeah. so anyway guys yeah gun the, market the, airbrush. the biggest thing though is a single action yeah so you it's only like a spray yeah so you just press for air and then it'll just spray the paint yeah, so you would yeah. use this kind of uh, you would use it the same way you'd use uh spray paint so you'd kind mm -hmm. of just go yeah or finger in mm. finger out finger mm. in finger yeah that kind exactly of thing. So, exactly not to sound too dirty, but anyway. <laughs> cool, guys. Okay, okay, sweet. So that has been our uh, Gunpla SA, Mr. Color. Mr. <laughs> um, Mr. Hobby. Mr. Hobby, Mr. Color, resupply. Yeah. Yay. And Gundam airbrush, <laughs> Gundam marker airbrush. So, woohoo! So, yeah, like for all the painters and customizers, there's something for you. Yay. Yay. Cool, and then like we need to slam something in front of the camera. Mm. Do you want to have some paint or the no, gun? I'll, slam, uh, this the, the, I'll yeah. slam this thing in it. Where's its butt? The butt. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Sweet. So, guys, until the next one, remember to stay awesome, mm -hmm. stay excellent, and, and keep, keep painting. Awesome. Joy! Joy! <laughs> gun and look, 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 there's, uh, there's RX-78 2 there, and we've got our RX-78. <laughs> Wow, yeah. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Too many RX-78 twos. And it's like, cool. <laughs> wait, oh, there. <laughs> That's cool. That's very cool. Hmm. Bye, guys.